Today is the big day. After three weeks of rain first, then snow, 30 centimeters of snow, and my M4 standing on the shelf, I can fly it. First time. The spool up is very smooth. And I hear already that the motor in this RPM is much more quiet. I think you hear it even in the Visio. So the motor sound is very quiet and I tell you the reason. The main reason is because I'm having this machine for the first flights set up with 1750 turns per minute and to have a similar performance with my M4 I need about 2200, 2100, so a lot more and the sound is of course different and I tried now to give more collective pitch and I have to tell you it is astonishingly powerful. Again, you heard that the RPM are going down a little bit, but not much. And she looks beautiful. Look at this. In front of these dark trees, do you see how great the white skits are for the visibility? I'm flying now a circle. And you see exactly where the hell he is when you follow the skids. So it's also nice that this canopy, my orange, the magical orange, is white from downside. So this looks great in front of dark background. You see the white skids are really jumping into your eyes. And now to bring her up again. She's looking great in front of these clouds and I love the blade sound. The blade sound is much more hearable because it is now dominating the motor sound. So I can show you that it's possible to fly uh, clockwise as well. I'm flying a clockwise circle. And it is unbelievable how much trust I feel to this model. I was flying it, I was flying two batteries with hovering because you have to check if everything is set up right. I have a very small tail wag when I'm hovering, but I think I have to just try a little bit with the gain settings. Pirouettes are going nicely. So everything is very nice and now again I give a lot of positive pitch. And what I feel as well in the difference to the M4 I was making a Santa Claus flight for my grandchild with the M4 and I was coming in with very low speed that's typical for um, sling load flying and I had some uh, vortex ring state effect and sometimes I was losing more altitude than expected with this helicopter I'm giving a little bit positive collective and I'm already able to hold it back on the same altitude so it's just fantastic how much I'm flying really for the first time on my field I did the hover on a sports field close to us and to just to check if everything is okay if the servos are moving right if everything seems okay before I try it in the air, a high up in the air, and
and now I was taking her up again stronger you do you hear these blades it's just amazing ah, I love it It is unbelievable how comfortable I feel. It is clear I have much more experience now than I had when, when I had the M4, very new. The M4 was the, the first real bigger helicopter for me. So it was clear that I had, I don't know, I was more nervous. This is now the second big helicopter or the bigger helicopter. These are still not the biggest helicopters, but I mean, for somebody who was, who was flying the M1 and the M2. This is quite a piece of helicopter. And now I feel much more comfortable. I love in the M4 that it is so exact to fly. You see a little bit this tail waggle, but I have to, to try. I will try the next time with different gain settings, but I will not do it uh, now doing this maiden video. I think it's normal that a helicopter can have a small problem like a tail wheel in the first flight this is of course a question of trying experimenting but here I see it is just behaving great my loved nose in flying backwards flying and turning around it is fantastic so the bigger rotor blades make it even more stable I think it will be a blast to fly it in strong winds I to be honest I'm so crazy that I love to fly in strong winds and I love this kind of elegant floating around like a slalom driver I love that helicopters are drifting through the air like ready cars everything is so controlled and smooth possible every little smallest stick move you do in this model is directly coming into action and i get the information that i have 30 seconds for the landing i had my timer on eight minutes and i will check how much is left in the battery i have to say I am impressed. Oh, this is great. I was waiting so much for this moment. Two weeks, can you imagine? Two weeks, such a beautiful helicopter. Or three weeks it was on the shelf because the weather was so shitty, sorry. And now I did it. Okay, I hope you like this video. If you like it, give us a like. If you liked it very much, subscribe to our channel and hope to see you again. Bye bye.